Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is my channel Adam Sows and today is a gift to November 23. So I wanted to come on here today and just go through a little bit of a sort of rundown of what a gift to November is and some of you probably already know. So Gift to November is a challenge that is hosted by myself and the gorgeous, beautiful Alison from So Like Dotty. Um, she is So Like Dotty underscore Dotty Lifestyle on Instagram, I believe. If that's wrong, I will put it down the bottom. Um, and she has been running this challenge with me for the past um, two years now. This is the second year that it's been running. We have got some of the most epic prizes going, one of them even being a sewing machine, which has been very, very kindly donated by David Drummond Sewing Machines. Um, we have some awesome prizes besides the sewing machine. We have lots of other prizes. Um, so basically, it is a challenge to basically get everyone sewing before the mad rush of Christmas. So hopefully most of your Christmas gifts will be sewn by the end of November, which hopefully you might be almost finished with them by now because of how late in the month this video is going out. So I am going to quickly stop rabbiting all about what the challenge is all about because it's 27th of November, you probably already know what it's all about. And what I'm going to do is show you one of my quick gift patterns, which I have made up, especially for this, um, and I will take you over to that clip in a second and we will go through how to make a quilted tote bag that's got a little bit more structure than your bog standard sort of canvas tote or cotton lined tote and it will hopefully give you some inspiration for something that you can whip up with your scraps in your sewing room. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your outer fabric and your lining fabric. And then what you're going to do is just fuse fleece to one side, either the inner or the outer, whichever you prefer, and just do some quilting on there and cut your panels down to 12 inches wide by 15 inches deep. What we're then going to do is just round off the bottom corners on both of these panels. So we have the two outer fabrics quilted with the lining fabric on the inside. What I'm now going to do is just take my 60 millimeter rotary cutter, which is a two and a half inch circumference. I'm going to make sure that the blade is definitely closed and I'm going to use this outer edge just to round off the corners on all four of the bottom of the bag. So what I'm going to do is just take my marking pen. I'm just using a biro here because this is going to be inside the binding and you won't see it. So I'm just going to mark on the bottom here the corner here and I'm going to trim that away just to give myself a rounded corner and I'm going to do that on all four of the lower pieces, all four lower corners. So now that I have rounded off the corners on both of the outer panels, the front and the back, I am going to now bind the top of this here by applying a two and a quarter, uh, sorry, a two inch wide strip of binding folded in half, which I'm going to apply to the back here with a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm then going to turn that binding to the front and I'm going to top stitch it down here to give myself a nice bound edge across the top of those two pieces. So I've taken my two inch binding, folded it in half, I'm just applying it to the top edge of the bag. I'm going to back stitch at the beginning, use a quarter inch seam allowance and apply it to the top. I'm going to trim off the excess. I'm going to press with my fingers. I'm going to run my finger down there and press this open. I'm then going to flip it to the front using my fingers and I'm going to top stitch that binding down. And we have a bound edge to the top of the bag. I'm going to now repeat this on the other side panel of the bag. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my front side panels, I'm going to measure where the centre point is, and then I'm going to evenly distribute two bag handles either side here. And I'm just going to sew these bag handles on using a one inch square stitch around the outside with an X in the middle just to give them extra reinforcement. You can use a covered webbing if you don't have a coloured webbing. If you have only have like a plain black polypropylene webbing, you, you can make a casing for it to go around the outside. Um, you can either stitch these to the inside or the outside, but because this is a coloured webbing, I'm going to stitch them to the outside. So I'm going to work out where the middle is, 
and just stitch the two handles onto each of the outer panels. So now I've attached my handles to the top of my bag, I'm going to take one of my pieces, I'm going to lay it line inside up, and then I'm going to take my outer panel, which measures 40 and a half by four inches wide, and I'm going to work my way around the bag, and I'm going to evenly distribute the side strip and clip it into place. Making sure to evenly spread it out around those curves and then fasten it together. Making sure I catch all the different layers of fabric. Making sure that I don't miss any of the different layers of fabric. stitch the whole way around here with a quarter inch seam allowance i'm then going to repeat with doing with joining the other panel to the front here and then i will come back and show you how we're going to bind the edge so i'm just going to clip this next side all the way around and then i will stitch the whole way around here too so what we will then end up with is a bag that is quite sort of sturdy and boxy as a tote and we are now going to apply the binding the whole way around these two outer edges by making a two and a quarter inch bias binding. And we are going to apply it folded in half to the outer portion first, and then we're going to flip it and top stitch it down to this side here. So the easiest way to make your bias binding is to take a 16 inch square of fabric, cut it from one corner to the other corner diagonally. To create two triangles we are then going to flip this triangle here on top and line this up with a quarter inch overhang at both ends we're going to stitch here a quarter inch seam allowance and then what we're going to get is a trapezoid sort of shape i believe that's what it's called um, and we are then going to once this flaps open we are then going to cut the binding across here to give us lots of strips of bias binding which we can then join together with a quarter inch seam allowance to give us a continuous length of bias binding to bind the sides of the bag. So this is what we're left with once we press that open and then I'm going to use my long ruler and I'm going to cut along here and cut two and a quarter inch strips of binding until I run out of fabric left to cut my strips from. Top tip if you struggle with cutting straight lines with long rulers like this is invest in some silicone bricks that go on the back of your ruler, which are here on here, and they stop your ruler from slipping. I will pop a link in the description box to a UK supplier of those if you so wish to buy some, but they make life a lot easier. Now it's just a case of joining all of these strips together. So as I said before, once we've got our long piece, we're going to fold this in half. We're going to tuck the ending inside itself, like so, before we apply it at the top. And then just before we get to the end at the other end here, we'll then trim it down and tuck in about a quarter of an inch and fold it before, which will give us a nice neat edge at the top. So that finishes off the quilted little tote that you can put loads of little bits and bobs in when you're out shopping or take it to a craft show to fill up with goodies when you're buying lots of fabric for your stash or just make them as gifts for friends and family to have in their car for when they go shopping. I hope that tutorial was of some value and use to you and I hope that you're all enjoying your 5th of November makes and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.